Yo, booty. What's up, Rich? Yeah. Well, we're back. We're back. back I think again. it's been, I'm sorry, it's been like two weeks since we, we last did our, our, you know, our half hour of mediocrity. Yeah. Right? At best. Uh, at, at best. <laughs> I'm proud to say that, actually. Um, you know, as far as our viewership, our listenership, we're booming, man. We're, we're up to 15, and that's 15 for two straight weeks. 15 people listening to you and I talk about... I mean, really, nothing. Yeah, we're trending. We're trending. We're on the way. Yeah, up. I, I, is that tre- is that what trending is? We're really? trending. It. We're hot. You know, I mean, we're in hey, style. M- motherfucker, if 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 we were a single, like a released single, right, a song, right, we would not have a bullet by our fucking name. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. Anyway, that's okay. Well, thanks for uh, listening to us. That's for sure. Um, wow. I want to talk about today, you know, Long Island, Bahamas. I, I just got back, um, and the experience this last week was just like every other experience on Long Island in the Bahamas as ever I've had. It was it was really fulfilling on a bunch of levels. Hell yeah, really fulfilling. This is. Where we stay and where I've, I've been there quite a few times, it's called Smithwell's Lodge. Um, you can Google it, but you ain't going to get any information on it. It's, it's kind of a multi-apartment setting, very secluded, no other, you can't see any other buildings, you're looking right out on the fucking water. Um, I mean, it's, uh, you know, sunsets, it'll make your dick hard. Yeah, that's a good sunset right there. That's a good sunset. <laughs> usually usually yeah. that happens with sunrises, but... Uh, oh, booty, booty! You're stepping out, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, I had one at sunrise today. I mean, that's, isn't that right, honey? Um, so, Long Island. I'm, I want to talk about this because this place really impacts me significantly as an angler. It's a bone fishing trip. Um, it's like I said. It's it's a multi apartment. There's there's no luxury about the uh, accommodations. They're clean. They're older. Um, the kid, you know, you basically have two anglers per apartment. Um, it's a you know one bedroom, two bed type situation. Um, you, you're on your own for breakfast every morning, uh, lunch on the water. Kind of a typical setup. You, you do not have to leave the property one bit the entire seven nights you're there and, and six days fishing. You don't have to leave it, you know. I mean, it's 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 just that kind of getaway, right? There's you know, there's a little bit of TV. There's a little bit of TV. Um, the Wi-Fi was um, pretty sketchy, right? Like it is, and you know, the phone thing's just kind of what it is. International, kind of hit and miss, depending on what you got going. But Long Island is a place to fucking disappear to. Yeah, yeah, and that's a lot of the reason why a lot of people fish. So shit. I mean, it's it's. I've gone through this saltwater career and I say career just because I've I've done it with a lot of other people and I tell you what I've had my balls kicked in by permits so fucking much and I've had my brain kicked in by permits so fucking much you know um, I just you know fuck I've got a lot of days in for permit um, I've had good tarpon experiences good snook experiences but I got to admit as a saltwater angler I, 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 I think I'm becoming a bonefish fancier those are your favorite? Bone well, fish? I mean, you know, it's kind of getting there. And that's just, it's. I'm, I'm being very sincere that, you know, it's easy to, I'd love to be a great permit fisherman. And, you know, listen, they're they're tough, you know, I'm, and I'm tough on myself with permit. But the truth is, I've got a lot of days with no catches. And I've got plenty of experiences where I just didn't get it fucking done. You know, and that's a combination of the angler, of course, the weather, and then of the fish right but long island is a bone fish fishery ironically i caught a permit there last year and i saw a couple of nice permit this last trip but really wasn't in much of a position and ready to cast anything because there aren't any numbers in long island so long island is a bone fish fishery and this last week was no exception except i got to experience this trip with a woman who had never done that before and it's if if you're if you're in the company of somebody that is turned on by environment meaning how beautiful and unique 
this fucking place is, you're going to get laid. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I mean, people go there, you know, just, just for the scenery, not to fish. You know, um, Yeah, Long Island's got like something like 2,500 people on it. It's like 70 miles long and five miles wide or something. It's, it's really an interesting place. I've been there 10 times, you know, and I go to the <clears> same place every time. But I took, I took, I took my gal to this, this place, I mean, really to seduce her. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I tell you what, this is, this is revealing as fuck, and I don't care. So she loved it there, and she loved it there because of Long Island. So if you ever get a chance to go to Long Island, go. I've never done it, you know, chill, you know, like not fishing, of course, but the it's it's a special place, um, and she loved it there, so that made the week better for me. Win win. Right. What's that? That's a win win. Well, it's a win win. It started out rough, you know. We got there, um, and uh, we stay a night in Nassau, <laughs> and then you go back to the airport on Sunday morning, Nassau Airport, and you check in to take a small charter flight, or not charter, but just smaller airline flight over to Long Island, right? It's pretty simple. Except that I booked with somebody I booked with before called Southern Air. And Southern Air just, like, they fucked me over on this trip like you wouldn't believe. What happened? We, we, we get to the airport Sunday morning after really a, a night at a real cool place in Nassau. And this young gal who was fine, you know, she kind of, she, she took us at the, at the airline counter and basically said, come back in 20 minutes. We'll book you then. We got some confusion on luggage, whatever. Okay. Come back 20 minutes later and she's like, and your flight's canceled. The, so there was three of us taking that afternoon flight from Nassau to Long Island. And that morning, five of the rest of our group of eight went earlier to Long Island and made it, of course, through a different carrier, right? And Southern Air, these fuckers, again, you book anything in the Bahamas, do not book with Southern Air, okay? They're, they're <laughs> fuck. They're, they're, they're hanging by a thread. <laughs> Supposedly one plane and shit. So it's just weird. And, and I don't think they were really knowing that they were going to... I think they knew they weren't going to fly our, our flight. You know, I do. I think they knew it. But So this young gal is just sitting there looking at me, and I'm just sitting there like, you know, what the fuck? And, you know, my, my gal and one of my clients are like, calm down, right? No, it's not her deal. I'm like, yeah, it's not her deal, of course, you know, but it was still shocking because we were there ready to go. And yeah. I've flown over to Long Island with Southern Air every time I've ever gone. But I'd heard last year, don't book with them anymore. And I did, like a fucking idiot. So here I am, just not knowing what to do because they're offering a night in Nassau and they'll fly south the next morning, whatever. And this young gal says, hey, um, possibility, I can get you a charter. And I'm like, oh, okay, like charter, how, how much? And that's obviously a small plane at that, at that airport <coughs> flying us over there for an hour, right? Yeah. I'm like, how much? And she's like, oh, gets on the phone. For five people, twenty six hundred. I'm like, I'll take it. I ain't got no fucking money. I'm in the fucking fly fishing industry, <laughs> motherfucker. That reminds me, please log on to our website and buy some shit. All right, yeah, I need it. Uh, my gal's like, no, and the client's like, no, but that meant we'd stay the night, miss Monday's fishing. I'm like, fuck that. Plus, I got five people there that are already there that I don't want, you know, I, you know, it's not like I really need to be there, but I need to be there. Yeah. You know, it's that kind of reality. So we're taking. This woman that I'm seeing, I'm not going to identify her. Um, she is so smart because it, that charter was for five people. And I was willing to eat that 2600 which is not easy for me. I mean, I'm not going to charge my sugar her portion and I don't feel like I you know my client who's a good dude and not tight with money I I just I don't know kind of felt like my obligation to get the fuckers there you know what I mean yeah. and it was <clears throat> so my gal starts going to the line of people behind us that don't even know the flights canceled yet she walks right up there and she's like flights canceled we need two people we're taking a five person charter blah 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 this old cat and his lady I mean, an older guy, got to be 80, high 70s. He's got this, like, uh, like 
Russian Lithuanian or uh, uh, just wife and she's really a nice gal it was really a cool experience we had with these two but he stepped up right away and said I guess we're doing this and I thought it was cool because yeah, none of us cool. we, we didn't know what we were getting into with this charter flight yeah I mean yeah. you know the southern airplanes are some sort of jet but I mean, I mean you gotta you, you gotta trust them motherfucker you know extent. it you know it's and, got, you know it might be sketchy you and know? the southern airplanes have got fucking duct tape on the interior yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're right. I'm not flying United from Nassau to Long Island. So this old guy and his gal, his Russian wife, she's a nice, beautiful lady, older. You know, we, we take a cab ride from Nassau to this hangar where this, I can't, I can't remember the name of this, this charter company. And 57 bucks to, to drive five of us four seconds. Cleaning up. Cleaning up. This old motherfucker, I don't blame him. He says, I charge by the bag, bitch. I'm like, okay, here's a tip. Right? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. So we're there. We walk into this this private, you know, charter company, and oh fuck. Beautiful. Luxury. These these dudes must fly money wherever money wants to go in that region. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right? Do, you know, dude's got his own jet. That motherfucker's gonna land there and park there. Yeah. Going, you know, yeah. yeah. So nice, nice setup, right? So I'm sitting here going, "Oh, good move, right?" Do a little bit of processing. It's it was interesting that once we left the ticket counter at the Nassau Airport, when we got to this private, they, they never asked for our ID or anything. Like, like they never. I mean, we we were able to get on this plane without even like, "Who, who are you?" Other than yeah. you know, give me my twenty six hundred bucks. So it was just kind of a cool thing that that we were now in this kind of having to take this charter, right? This is a half hour after this young lady told me your fucking flight's canceled. So we meet this young kid who's the pilot, and he takes us out on this, you know, this tarmac, this this you know place where the planes are. And I'm like, fuck, okay, this is going to be nice because I mean, you know, oh, jet, jet. I mean, nice, right? I'm like, oh, that's a nice plane. He's like, that ain't our plane. <laughs> this is like something off a movie. That's hilarious. <laughs> Straight up true. I can picture like, that it ain't our plane. I walked 10 feet over and there was our plane and it was an older tougher blue I don't know I don't know anything about planes so I don't know what it was but uh, with like brightly colored fish almost cartoonish painted on the side of this fucking plane I don't know if it's a sightseeing plane I mean it's obviously registered to fly from Nassau to Long Island I mean it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't junky it was just it's a 65 Mustang motherfucker you get what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm the dude that hops in an airplane, and I'm thinking, if it's my day, it's my day. I, I really mean that. I wouldn't do anything, you know, super dumb with, you know, getting into a plane like, holy shit, this is bad. But I flew into the jungle in fucking, you know, Bolivia, and I mean, you know, if it's my day, it's my day. So we get into this plane, all five of us, me, my client, my gal, and Howard and his lady, Tanya, I think her name was, and... Jeez, what a fucking 60, 75, 90 minute experience. I just really mean that. I personally, being in the fucking front seat with the pilot to my left, windows around me. So you're right, you're, you're right there watching them fly the plane. Fuck, dude, That's I could have cool. fucking, there was a wheel in front of me. There was a fucking, you know, there's a, yeah, there, yeah I mean, you bet. Yeah, it's it, quite an experience. It was right there. It, it was amazing because when you fly from Nassau to Long Island, you look down, you see you see flats, you see some little atolls, you see some really cool, beautiful, shallow water shit. And from a little bit of elevation, it's it look you know it's 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 cooler. So it was it was something, and it ended up only costing me about seventeen hundred instead of the twenty six twenty seven that they quoted. But it was more how. I got my team there and how Howard and Tanya I don't know about this cat you know I just don't know what he was but he was something he you know in this he didn't even flinch when it came to going and he just had a good vibe to him so it was weird how it ended up like kind of us landing at Stella Mars which is about 45 miles from you know Dead Man's Key which is where we stay on Long Island so we had to take an expensive cab ride, but but we got there, and it ended up being a positive experience in the trip, and it started out as crisis. So that's how my week started. So anyway, that's the end of uh, episode one, and uh, booty. 
And by the way, I just love saying booty. You know I do. It's a good name. It's a good name. It's a it's a good name. I love it. And and it's B O O T Y. Yeah. Which is how it should be spelled. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah anyway. Okay, so we'll be back, episode two. Thank you very much.